Alright, so we're back to the only game that allows you to torture and kill creatures by dividing by zero its species. More kicking science in the balls, damn it. Species is a game that allows you to do whatever the hell you want to the various parts that make up the ecosystem upon which the creatures get to get tortured in. We found out what happens to creatures when they suffer under 100 million times gravity, but now I want to do something even dumber. I want to use negative gravity. I didn't score really high in science. Isn't negative gravity just repulsion? Didn't someone say it was like dark energy or something? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Either way, it sounds like the way that Nightcrawler from the X-Men would have been created if he was also addicted to heroin. And so today, we will force creatures to experience negative gravity until I eventually break the game. Oh, I break the game when I'm not trying. If I try, this thing's gonna crash in the first 20 minutes. Now, before we do anything here, we need a nice seed. There we go, that's hot. Now we completely obliterate it to the point where it's not even recognizable. Perfect. Welcome to a land where dreams come true. Kill us. Topia. Just like Florida, I only want this to have one season, hot. Although to be fair, Florida has two seasons, summer and hot summer. Welcome everyone to kill us. It's every bit as glorious as I hoped it would be. Okay, so things are now going to begin for our thick arm dubstep loving people here. First things first, we need to start moving the gravity down. I don't even know what the hell this will do, so we're gonna start at minus one gravity. As you can see here, our beginning creatures have absolutely no aspirations or life skills. Getting up in the morning is a chore. More than likely, they're going to live with their parents until they're 80 years old. I appreciate that everyone's reaching up to the peak of the K and kill us. It's like everyone wants to be king of the mountain, except this mountain is only really good at making people depressed. I like how when learning how to swim, the creature puts its head level with the ground, but it's so freakish that the one creature's head is upside down. Jesus Christ, I didn't know that their necks had 360 degree capability. Somehow between before and now, these creatures got mixed with owls. This is super disturbing to watch. All right, everything's looking pretty good as is typical bouts of cannibalism and psychosis are rampant. The number of creatures is going down very quickly and just as quickly they fought back. Excellent. So the very first new species due to negative gravity have been created and they just look slightly more angry than the other species. Oh, and their, their skin colors change. I like how they're just becoming less sexual and more angry. It's like without gravity, people suddenly don't have anything to do anymore. I'm not gonna lie, going to negative gravity is like a thousand times more deadly than going to positive gravity. My creatures didn't die this much on a million times positive gravity. What the hell's going on here? What are they ejaculating into space? Or ejecting into space? You know what I mean? All the creatures are still struggling to survive. This thing's over here. It's like, you know what I miss from my childhood? Not paying taxes and gravity. Although technically, if there was no gravity, wouldn't there also be no atmosphere maybe it's causing all sorts of really bad repercussions that i hadn't previously considered that's good though that means that whoever manages to survive this culling will become the most powerful species we've ever built yet i know man it sucks that i have to torture you for like a hundred thousand years in order to get you guys to evolve but i mean better you than me i don't know why the lower the gravity gets the more body hair everyone has this doesn't seem like an appropriate evolution also it's kind of scary that my population can't get over 24. they are starting to mutate now though which is good that means that they're fighting back against the tyranny well, i say fighting back some of them are just thrusting in the water until they die okay it's taken about 10,000 years but we're finally above 50 creatures as soon as i say that a bunch of them killed themselves i think i'm just gonna have to accept that the amount of creatures in in this species is going to be incredibly low. What in the hell level of steroids is going on over here? There's no reason to be packing guns like this. There's no gravity. He's like, I'm using big brain powers, Gray. Goku trained in regular gravity. I'm training in negative gravity. Okay, since it's pretty clear that uh, we're finally starting to go up, I'm gonna go ahead and move this to negative 100 gravity and see if that instantaneously causes everyone to go extinct. Okay, may God have mercy on your souls. I love how everyone's goal now in order to stay anchored to the planet because the gravity is trying to shove them out is to hug the ground. People are turning into spiders. Oh, this is both concerning and somewhat scary. What the hell kind of SCP creature are you? Negative gravity, space spiders. I should have known. For real though, what, what, what the hell is this? It is not delicious meat. 
So, there's only seven creatures left in this world. Most of them have instantaneously died. The ones that haven't wish that they did. What the hell is this? It's like something out of freaking Hellraiser. I never thought that removing gravity would turn into something like this. I took away oxygen and everyone turned into the juggernaut. I take away gravity and everyone turns into the bugs from starship troopers. What the hell are you? It's a dangerous omnivore that smokes a lot. Oh, baby Jesus. It's starting to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say, really? Watching these things multiply is kind of like watching a nightmare get out of hand. I like how the father is just like, I've had enough of this. I'm going to drown myself in the sea after seeing what my children look like. I don't even know what to say about this. The creatures were stuck at like four to five creatures for the longest time. But it's totally possible that my ultra spider aliens are beginning to fight back against the lack of gravity. I have never seen a species want to drown itself so much as the these creatures. So, this is what we're currently working with thanks to the lack of gravity. <laughs> Can someone please tell me what this is between this creature's legs? It looks like another head. I you know, like a like a skull. It's just getting bigger. Okay, you 20 freaks are the strongest that there ever was. And so it's time to go down to negative 1,000 times gravity. I don't even know what these numbers mean anymore. <laughs> oh no. The game hit a problem I didn't anticipate. What, you mean getting negative 1,000 times gravity isn't normal? <laughs> so at negative 1,000 times gravity, we're starting to get some real issues with the creatures here. What kind of starburst, tie-dyed, freaking nature is this? It's got like a 30-foot long neck. I don't even know really what to say anymore. The space spiders have now developed fins and flippers. I'm I'm slowly creating the apex predator. God, it's like aliens, but a hundred times worse. Jesus Christ, this one's trying to stand upright. You can actually see the evolution where they kind of kept their previous human form as well as the eyes, and then it slowly just moves into the full spider. Again, there's only nine creatures left. It's all that can manage it. But I guess this means that we'll have to move to negative one million times gravity. Two on this. So good news, guys. The creatures finally learned how to flourish. I had to get rid of the kill me island and just replace it with normal islands. Everything's living fantastically now. Although if you look at what they appear to look like, it's not really a good thing. This is basically a cancerous tumor with two spider legs. That's effectively what this is. Look at it, it only has two legs, it's awful. Meanwhile, some other creatures have simply formed a couple of extra legs to make this work. Well, it looks like we have 21 whole creatures left alive. That means it's time to decrease the gravity to negative 10 million times gravity. Ah, the extinction has begun. Actually, considering I just well, decreased, I guess, the gravity. They're doing quite well. In fact, they're starting to multiply. What the hell is this? The fact that they are coming back so strongly leads me to want to know exactly what level of creature we have working for us at this point. Never mind, I wish I had never looked. What the hell happened to this guy's calves? Did they forget to grow up? This thing goes to his parents and it's like, Daddy, where's my calves? And his father's like, you'll get them when you grow up. Same thing with his forearms. Why are they missing forearms? I, I really enjoy that this demonic spider pickle got to keep its feet on the back limbs. When you go to hell, this is the very first thing it greets you. I've had to baby these damn things so much that maybe this is the sweet spot for negative gravity. I never would have freaking thought. I'm not gonna lie, you are one hideous looking walking toe. This is probably the oddest relationship between two creatures I think I've ever seen in my entire life. By the way, can you see the little third limb <laughs> that this creature has right back here? <laughs> Maybe they're not friends. It's totally possible this guy's like, I want to eat you. Looking at this thing swim makes me wish I hadn't looked at it swim. Realistically, everything over here is like something out of an LSD-fueled nightmare. This dude over here is like, I have trouble walking through the woods because these guns keep on catching on everything. How the hell do we have 47 friggin' species right now? Yeesh. What even is this? It looks like someone ran over an irradiated almond. I, what the hell? Okay, real quick, what the hell is this? It's just a gigantic lump of flesh with two 30 foot long arm things that each have a testicle on them. Man, doing negative gravity was way worse than I thought it was ever gonna be. What do you look like when you move? I like that 
in order to try to get from one area to another, this thing has to have an epileptic seizure. Look at its sad vestigial limbs flapping. Ah yes, we call this lightning twerking. Okay, it's gotten to the point where all this is is a shaggy soccer ball with two legs. Okay, now we're finally starting to get some death. It took a long time for them to finally start feeling the pain of the negative gravity, but now it's working. Ah, right over here, one of my favorite creatures, the volcanic meth frog. This creature is looking at me like I'm its dad, and it's a carnivore, so this is actually so disturbing, I have to slay you. Good night, sweet prince. It's not dying. Why is it not dying? Jesus, it's like immortal. Die! This thing's sneaking up on these things, trying to eat them, and you can see it's like, shh, I'm camouflaged, they don't see me. This creature over here has the big brain strat, literally the big brain strat. It just keeps growing its head larger and larger, and then it moves along the ground by undulating its, um, whatever that is right there. I like how every other creature is trying to deal with the lack of gravity by growing longer limbs, and this one just wants to be a rebel by growing shorter limbs. I don't know what to call this. Would you call this crawling? Oh, it's horny, that's why. <laughs> this is this is how this thing walked, right here. Don't you wish it would just die? The wish just came true. <laughs> this right here is a very rare sight. This is essentially a Tyrannosaurus Rex crossed with a potato. If you notice, uh, this creature and this creature are vibrating against one another so fast that they were blurring. I don't know what sort of weird Goku-like mating ritual that was, but only one of them survived. Considering everyone understands how to live so easily now, I guess you know what we have to do, which is go to negative 100 million times gravity. I don't know what else to say here to these creatures besides I'm sorry. Okay, that's definitely putting a dent in the population. Ah, the ultimate alien baby leg slug. One of my personal favorite evolutions. Why is everyone so intent on showing off their groin? Okay, this is good. Everyone is dying. Now we'll finally get to see who we're left with at negative 100 million times gravity. Who is the strongest? Okay, it's finally leveling off at 13. That's all that can handle it. And what do they look like? I wish I would have never asked. This is actually perfect because we did negative gravity and so everything now has become negative people they're upside down see their head dangles from between their legs i like how it goes from this which is pretty reminiscent to that hideous thing that we saw in the beginning to this all this is is a mcdonald's chicken nugget with arms and hair uh i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of I'm kind of wishing this thing would have just skipped leg day. They don't really look like nubs so much as they look just like stubby protrusions coming out of its hips. They're like legs that dropped out of school after the eighth grade. Well, we did it. Get rid of gravity and what you get is creatures that have heads where their asses used to be and attempt to hug the entire planet so they don't go off into space. This is also one of my personal favorites, mostly because I love chicken nuggets. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave you with this. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. Till next time. Stay foxy and much love.